हेलो डियर फ्यूचर डॉक्टर्स वेलकम टू मेमो नीट आई एम जय ठक्कर एंड आई एम अ थर्ड ईयर एम बी बी एस स्टूडेंट एट श्री एम पी शाह गवर्नमेंट मेडिकल कॉलेज जामनगर गुजरात आई एम वर्किंग एज अ बायोलॉजी कंटेंट क्रिएटर हियर एट मेमो नीट एंड टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द वीडियो सोल्यूशन ऑफ जुआलॉजी सेक्शन ऑफ फुल टेस्ट नाइन सो लेट एस बिगिन विथ इट सो वी विल स्टार्ट विद द जुआलॉजी सेक्शन क्वेश्चन नंबर वन फिफ्टी वन ओके द क्वेश्चन इज एन असर्शन रीजन टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन एंड द असर्शन इज फाइलम एस्केल मेंथिस ओके इट इज टॉकिंग अबाउट द फाइलम एस्केल मेंथिस रिप्रेजेंट्स द स्यूडोसिलोमेट्स सो द असर्शन इज करेक्ट बिकॉज इन एस्केल मेंथिस द स्यूडोसिलोमेट्स आर प्रेजेंट ओके इट इज अ कैरेक्टरिस्टिक फीचर ऑफ द एस्केल मेंथिस द रीजन गिवन हियर इज इन एस्केल मेंथिस मीजोडर्म इज प्रेजेंट एज स्कैटर्ड पाउचेस इन बिटवीन द एक्टोडर्म एंड एंडोडर्म सो द रीजन गिवन हियर इज ऑल्सो करेक्ट एंड इट इज द करेक्ट एक्सप्लेनेशन फॉर असर्शन वाई बिकॉज सी फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल मीजोडर्म इज प्रेजेंट बिटवीन द एक्टोडर्म एंड द एंडोडर्म दिस इज करेक्ट एंड इन स्यूडोसिलोमेट्स द मीजोडर्म द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक फीचर ऑफ मीजोडर्म इज दैट इट इज प्रेजेंट एज स्कैटर्ड पाउचेज ओके देर इज नो क्लियर बॉडी वॉल दैर इज द मीजोडर्म इज प्रेजेंट इन स्कैटर्ड पाउचेज therefore they are called as pseudocilomates okay so here the answer will be option 1 both assertion and reason are true and the reason is correct explanation of the assertion moving on to the next question that is question number 152 in some animal groups the body is found divided okay divided into compartments with at least some organs this characteristic feature is called now see it is talking about the divisions which are found in animal for example like see if this is a worm okay and there are so, uh, you might have seen that there are certain divisions made in that uh, worm okay so this is the characteristic feature what is it called first of all it is called as metamerism okay and these segments different segments which are formed are called as metamers so if you can see in this picture see this property is called as metamerism and these segments which you can see okay these different segments these segments are called as metamers okay so i hope you are clear with this the answer will be option 2 moving on to the next question that is question number 153 below are the different sets of animals which possess different heart chambers Which of the sets contain only the organisms which contain four heart chambers? Okay, so there are certain organisms given in the option, and you have to identify which of them contains four heart chambers. Okay, so as we know that, see, in the fishes there are two chambers, one atria and one ventricle. In amphibians there are three chamber heart, that is two atria and one ventricle. Then the reptiles are there reptiles also have a three chambered heart they have two atria and one ventricle but there is an exception exception to the reptiles and what is that exception absolutely that is crocodiles the crocodiles are having four chambered heart okay they are reptiles but they have four chambered heart so that is an exception you need to remember that and the birds and mammals are having four chambered heart only two atria and two ventricles so here in the option okay the correct answer will be option 2 that is crocodiles birds and mammals these three are having four chambered heart moving on to the next question question number 154 it states that radial symmetry okay it is talking about radial symmetry is not found okay important word is not okay uh, always read the question properly whether it says not or no okay so uh, radial symmetry is not found in adults of phylum so you have to identify in the adults of which phylum uh, radial symmetry is not found okay so first of all it is given echinodermata so in echinodermata if you remember that the uh, younger ones they have bilateral symmetry right and when they grow into adults they are having radial symmetry so this will be not a correct answer next is phylum tenophora so tenophora also have radial symmetry the third is phylum hemichordata so this is the correct answer because the adults of phylum hemichordata do not show radial symmetry okay and what is radial symmetry so when you can divide the organism in any planes and it forms mirror images then it is called as radial symmetry moving on to the next question that is question number 155 it states that 
each muscle is composed of many long cylindrical fibers arranged in parallel arrays okay so these fibers are composed of numerous fine fibrils and these fibrils are called what so see here the correct answer will be option 2 that is myofibrils because see each muscle is there and it contains many long cylindrical fibers right so the proper image is this one so if you can see here this is the complete muscle okay and it contains many uh, muscle fibers arranged in a cylindrical manner okay they are arranged parallelly and they are composed of uh, numerous fine fibrils and these fibrils are called as myofibril okay so and remember in terms of muscle uh, the word characteristic prefix or the word is myo so myo stands for muscle okay so here the correct answer will be option two moving on to next question that is question number 156 it is an assertion reason question the assertion is hibernation during winter and estivation during summer is seen in frogs so this is a correct statement and uh, the reason given for this is frogs are poikilotherms now first of all you need to know what are poikilotherms okay so poikilotherms means the cold blooded animals and why they are called cold blooded animals because the temperature of their blood changes according to the surroundings okay so if the surroundings are hot then the temp temperature their temperature of the body increases and if they are in cold surroundings then the body temperature decreases so frogs belong to poikilotherms so this is a correct reason and also it explains the assertion why because see frogs uh, they, the in the winter there is severe uh, conditions okay the weather in winter and also in summer there are severe weather conditions so to protect themselves they go into hibernation which is a deep sleep and estivation okay so here the answer will be option one because both assertion and reason are true and the reason is the correct explanation for the assertion moving on to the next question that is question number 157 it states that the the question is the above figure is associated with diagrammatic representation of internal organs of the frog and we need to identify a to e okay so this is a diagram based question and so this is the complete diagram and you need to identify what is a b c d and e e is over here okay so if you see the correct diagram over here so a here is the gallbladder okay then b the b are the lungs okay c are the fat bodies and d are the kidneys and e is the rectum okay so here the correct answer will be option number four that is a represents gallbladder b represents lung c represents fat bodies d represents kidney and e over here is the rectum okay now moving on to the next question that is question number 158 it states that B DNA is the most common form of DNA having all the following salient features except okay so we have to identify which of the following is incorrect for the B DNA and as we know B DNA is the most common form of DNA okay it is given in the question the first statement is the pitch would be 34 angstrom this is a correct statement because the pitch okay the pitch is 34 angstrom then the strand turns 36 degree at each step of ascent this is also a correct statement then the let us read the fourth statement first one full turn of helical strand involves 10 base pairs so this is also a correct statement because see when the dna completes a single turn like this okay when it completes a single turn then it contains 10 base pairs in it okay and the third statement is the rise per base pair is 3.6 angstrom now see we saw that the pitch is 34 angstrom right so the distance uh, between each base pair or the rise between each base pair should be how much see there are 10 base pairs in each uh, turn okay and pitch is 34 angstrom so when we divide pitch okay that is 34 angstrom by 10 then we will get that how much rise in the is there in each base pair okay so the answer over here will be 3.4 angstrom okay 
but in the statement it is given 3.6 angstrom so this statement will be incorrect okay the correct will be 3.4 angstrom moving on to the next question that is question number 159 it states that study the primary structure of a part of hypothetical protein and choose the correct statements now see in the question the figure is incomplete okay the correct figure is like this so if you can see over here that the first amino acid okay let us see the question also together okay the statements so the first statement is first amino acid is serine so is this correct yes see as you can see this amino acid the structure is of serine okay so first statement is correct okay this amino acid is serine the next statement is 2 is a sulfur containing amino acid and it can be methionine so see as you can see in the second one there is this this sulfur group present okay and it can be methionine so there are two sulfur containing amino acids which we know cysteine and methionine so this can be methionine right the second statement is also correct then third statement is three is an ar aromatic amino acid and can be tyrosine so tyrosine is an example of aromatic amino acid and if you can see in the third amino acid okay it is an aromatic amino acid because this is the benzene ring okay if you can see okay next is a uh, fourth statement so fourth is an acidic amino acid okay now <clears throat> how can we say that it is acidic amino acid because see here is the carboxylic acid group okay so this belongs to the acidic amino acid so here all the statements one two three and four are correct so here the answer will be option four then moving on to the next say uh, next question that is question number 160 and it states that select the correct sequence we have to select here the correct sequence of steps uh, in the respiration process okay so here the first uh, will be which process first of all there will be pulmonary ventilation by which the atmospheric air is drawn in and co2 rich alveolar air is released out right so first of all there will be breathing that is pulmonary ventilation okay so this will be the first one then there will be diffusion of gases okay so when the air with uh, rich in oxygen reaches the alveoli there will be exchange of gases or diffusion of gases that is o2 will move into the capillaries and co2 will move out of the capillaries into the alveoli so second will be diffusion of gases o2 and co2 across the alveolar membrane the third statement will be the third step will be transport of the gases by blood okay so after the o2 has reached the blood it will be transported to the tissues so this will be the third statement right the next statement will be diffusion of o2 and co2 between blood and the tissues okay so blood will take the oxygen to the tissues and then there will be exchange of gases at the tissue site okay o2 will diffuse inside and co2 will diffuse into the blood so this will be the fourth statement and the fifth step is this one utilization of o2 by the cells for catabolic reactions and resultant release of co2 so this will be the fifth one so here the correct answer will be option one moving on to the next question that is question number 161 and it states that consider the following diagrams depicting a cardiac cycle the correct sequence in which these events would occur would be so as you can see in these diagrams first of all let us see the second diagram what is happening in the second diagram it is that the blood is entering both the atria right and these valves are open okay the tricuspid valve and the bicuspid valve are open so this process is of joint diastole okay blood is freely moving into the atria and into the uh, ventricles so this is the first step of the cardiac cycle that is joint diastole then what happens is the blood is moving into ventricles okay and the atria are contracting over here okay so this is the next step okay where the atria contract atrial uh, systole so atria are contracting and ventricles are receiving the blood the uh, third and the final diagram is ventricular systole here the ventricles are contracting and the blood is being pumped uh, into the aorta and the pulmonary artery okay <clears throat> and the <clears throat> uh, tricuspid and bicuspid valves are closed so the correct sequence will be option 3 that is 
टू वन एंड देन थ्री मूविंग ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन दैट इज क्वेश्चन नंबर वन सिक्सटी टू सी द डायग्राम एंड आंसर ए बी सी डी एंड ई सो ही वी हैव टू आइडेंटिफाई द दीज ऑप्शन ओके वी हैव टू आइडेंटिफाई दीज पार्ट ए बी सी डी एंड ई एफ ओके द पार्ट लेबल एज ए बी सी डी ई एफ रिस्पेक्टिवली इंडिकेट वॉट ओके सो एज यू कैन सी ओवर हियर दिस इज अ पार्ट ऑफ द पेलविक गर्डल ओके एंड दिस इज द प्यूबिक बोन नाउ वॉट इज रिप्रेजेंटेड बाई ए सो ए इज इलियम ओके सो इलियम इज ए द नेक्स्ट इज बी सो एज यू कैन सी बी इज ओवर हियर एंड दिस इज रिप्रेजेंटिंग द सेक्रम सो बी इज रिप्रेजेंटिंग सेक्रम देन सी इज दिस पार्ट ओके दिस पार्ट ओवर हियर इज द प्यूबिस सो सी इज रिप्रेजेंटिंग प्यूबिस एंड देन डी so d is representing the thigh bone which is the longest bone in our body and it is called what it is the femur so d is representing the femur now see e and f you might be a bit a little bit confused over here see e is representing the tibia okay and tibia is the shin bone which is present on the front okay the shin of uh, the leg is formed by tibia and f is the fibula and fibula is present on the lateral side so F is representing the fibula, and here the correct answer will be option four. Okay, so I hope this diagram is clear to you guys. The next question is question number one sixty three. It states that during the muscle contraction, the length of all of the following gets reduced except. Okay, so it is asking that which of the following lengths are not reduced. Okay. let us see the options the option given over here are the first is h zone okay now see first of all you need to know the structure of the sarcomere so as you can see over here this is the sarcomere right and the relaxed state okay so this is the sarcomere in relaxed state and this is the h band this is the i band the a band and uh, this is the z line okay now see what happens during contraction is the length of the sarcomere reduces okay so this is the sarcomere in the contracted state now what happened in the contracted state the h zone reduced okay so this is the very thin h zone which got reduced and all the following got reduced okay except what it is the a band because see the a band is over here right it is representing the thick filament or myosin right so a band size remains the same even during contraction okay so here the correct answer will be option 2 that the a band size remains the same otherwise all the following gets reduced during contraction the next question is question number 164 it states that which of the following hormones will interact with the intracellular receptors okay why it is saying intracellular receptor because it is asking about the hormone which will enter inside the cell and react with the uh, receptors which are present inside the cell so it is telling intracellular receptors and mostly regulate the gene expression or the chromosome function by the interaction of hormone receptor complex with genome okay so uh, in this process what happens is that the hormone enters inside the cell and it re uh, it forms the hormone receptor complex and this hormone receptor complex produces changes in the dna or the gene and due to this uh, changes in the gene expression the, there will be changes in the proteins because see after the process of gene expression how does the gene expression takes place the gene expression takes place by formation of the rna from dna that is called as transcription and after the formation of rna it will form respective proteins okay and that is pro that process is called as translation so uh, therefore it will uh, express the gene in this way so the hormone will enter the cell and to enter the cell what is required the hormone should be lipid soluble so here the correct answer is option 2 that is b and c okay so see cortisol and the iodothyronines or the uh, thyroid hormones they uh, act via the intracellular receptors okay they will enter inside the cell and then they produce the effect by forming the hormone receptor complex moving on to the next question that is question number 165 it is the match of following question 
there are different diseases given over here and they are uh, they are asking that with which hormone they are associated okay the first is acromegaly now as you know acromegaly occurs when there is excessive growth hormone right and the growth hormone is secreted by the pituitary gland so a goes with 3 next is diabetes mellitus diabetes mellitus is uh, associated with insulin when there is decreased insulin secretion there occurs diabetes mellitus the body sugar increases so b goes with one c is diabetes insipidus and diabetes insipidus is associated with the antidiuretic hormone or the adh or vasopressin so c goes with two d is graves disease and graves disease is associated with thyroxine so here the correct answer will be option 2. The next question is question number 166 and it is also a match the following question. Okay, we have to uh, find what is a curable STD. Now see, here the curable STD will be syphilis. Okay, syphilis is caused by what? It is called by a caused by bacteria that is treponema pallidum and whenever it is diagnosed early, it is curable. So curable STD is syphilis then incurable std the incurable std here is aids and aids is caused by human immunodeficiency virus and as we know there is no proper treatment of aids so the incurable std is aids next is infertility removal the method used for infertility is gift okay gift or the gamete intrafallopian transfer in this the uh, both male gamete and female gamete are transported transferred into the fallopian tube and fertilization takes place inside the fallopian tube next is the unwanted pregnancy so unwanted pregnancy to terminate it we use the mtp okay the mtp comes here in play that is the medical termination of pregnancy so it's d goes with one so here the answer is option one the next question is question number 167 it states that state which of the following are true okay so from the following statement we have to identify which statement is true the first statement is the human male ejaculates about 200 to 300 million sperms during a coitus so this is a correct statement okay the next statement is for normal fertility at least 60 percent of the sperms must have normal shape and size and what is this normal shape and size called it is called as normal morphology so at least 60 percent of the sperm should have normal morphology for normal fertility the third statement is for at least uh, 40 percent of them must show vigorous motility so this is also a correct statement why because for fertilization the sperms need to travel to the fallopian tube and for that at least 40 percent of the sperms should have vigorous motility then only they will be able to travel so this statement is also correct the last statement is sperms released uh, from the seminal vesicles are transported by the accessory ducts so this is an incorrect statement why because sperms are not released by the seminal vesicles the seminal vesicles release the seminal fluid okay sperms are formed in the seminiferous tubules of the testes so this is an incorrect statement so here the answer will be option 3 a b and c are true and d is false okay the next question is question number 168 it is asking that MTP is safe up to okay so what is MTP MTP is medical termination of pregnancy or abortion so it is safe up to what time in pregnancy so as we know MTP is safe up to the first trimester right so we can easily perform MTP and it is safe during the first trimester of pregnancy okay first trimester and what is the first trimester so trimester okay remember it like this so try the first trimester is 0 to 3 months and how much is 3 months it is 12 weeks so here the answer will be option 2 that MTP is safe up to 12 weeks of pregnancy the next question is question number 169 it states that seminal plasma in humans is rich in what okay so see seminal plasma is responsible for providing nutrition to the sperms okay so it require it is rich in fructose calcium and certain enzymes so here the answer will be option four moving on to the next question that is question number 170 
which of the following contraceptive methods involve a role of hormone okay so hormone are released by what okay so first option is given that pills emergency contraceptives and barrier methods so see barrier methods are not involving hormone okay the second option is lactational amenorrhea pills and emergency contraceptives so see these three options involve the role of hormones okay see pills consist of uh, progestogens and estrogens emergency contraceptives are also consisting of that so this is a correct statement okay this uh, the answer over here is option 2 next is question number 171 it is the correct surgical procedure as a contraceptive method is okay ovary ovariectomy hysterectomy vasectomy and castration so the correct surgical procedure for contraceptive purposes is vasectomy okay so vasectomy in that what do we do we uh, cut the vas deferens and we ligate over here okay see this is the vas deferens and we uh, tie it like this okay so there is no connection in between them okay and therefore the sperms are not transported further the next question is question number 172 which of the following is not a bacterial disease of human okay so there are following disease and you have to identify which of them is not a bacterial disease the first is typhoid as we know typhoid is a bacterial disease it is caused by salmonella typhi diphtheria so diphtheria is also a bacterial disease it is caused by corini bacterium diphtheri then plague plague is also a bacterial disease it is caused by yersinia pestis and d is pneumonia pneumonia is also a bacterial disease it is caused by streptococcus pneumoniae and klebsiella pneumoniae also it is caused by haemophilus influenzae next is dysentery so dysentery is also a bacterial disease it is caused by shigella okay so here the answer is option 4 all are the bacterial diseases moving on to the next question that is question number 173 the main symptom of ringworms is okay so ringworms are what they are a fungal disease okay and the main symptom of them is they produce scaly lesions on skin okay scaly lesions are found in skin nails and the scalp and these scaly lesions are very itchy and they are red so the main symptom of ringworms is scaly lesions on skin nails and scalp the answer is option 3 The next is question number one seventy four. It states that the infective stage of malarial parasite Plasmodium that enters the human body is okay. So when a mosquito bites a human, then what is the infective stage which enters the human? Okay. So here the answer is option two. That is sporozoite. So if you know the uh, malarial cycle, the sporozoite enters inside the human being and it first goes into the hepatocyte or the liver cell. okay and then they it performs the extra erythrocytic cycle after the hepatocyte ruptures it performs the uh, erythrocytic cycle that is it enters the rbc okay the next question is question number 175 it is an assertion reason question the assertion given here is a gene from bacillus thuringiensis is incorporated in plant genome to increase yield okay so the assertion is correct The next reason is given is it is it is Bt toxin producing gene which kills the larva of insect. So this is also correct. Okay. Now see the Bt toxin. Uh, okay. Uh, the gene which is uh, incorporated from the uh, Bacillus thuringiensis into the plant genome. What does it do? It is the Bt gene. It produces the Bt toxin and this toxin is responsible for killing of the uh, larva of insects. Therefore, the larva will not infect the plant. Okay, the insect will not infect the plant and uh, it will increase the yield. So here the answer is option one. Both assertion and reason are true, and the reason is correct explanation of the assertion. The next question is question one seventy six. Which of the following restriction sites are not present on the PBR three twenty two? So, if you know the structure of PBR three twenty two, okay, this is the vector, and these are the different uh, sites. Okay, these are the different restriction sites of different enzymes. So, which of them is not present over here? Yes, you have identified it correctly. It is the Hind two and the PST two. These two are not present on PBR three twenty two. 
So the correct answer is option 4. Moving on to the next question, the question number 177. Which of which one is a true statement regarding the DNA polymerase used in PCR? Okay, so as we know, what DNA polymerase do we use in PCR? Yes, we use the TAC DNA polymerase. And this TAC DNA polymerase, first of all, it is thermostable. That is, at high temperatures also, it is active. Then it is obtained from a bacteria that is Thermus aquaticus. Therefore, it is called as TAC DNA polymerase. Okay, see, Thermus aquaticus. So, therefore, it is called as TAC DNA polymerase, Thermus aquaticus. So, now let us see the different statements. It is used to ligate the introduced DNA in the recipient cells. So, this is an incorrect statement. Why? Because, see, the process of ligation is performed by which enzyme? It is the DNA ligase which performs the DNA ligation. So, this is an incorrect statement. Second is, it serves as a selectable marker. So, this is also an incorrect statement. Third is, it is isolated from a virus. So, we just now discussed that it is isolated from a bacteria, not a virus. Fourth statement is, it remains active at high temperature. This is a correct statement. Why? Because this is a thermostable DNA polymerase and it remains active even at high temperatures. Moving on to the next question, that is question number 178. It states that golden rice is a promising transgenic crop. When released for cultivation, it will help in what? So see, if you have learnt about golden rice, golden rice has excessive quantity of vitamin A. Now see, if we uh, cultivate the golden rice and provide it to the population, what will it do? It will alleviate the condition of vitamin A deficiency. So here the answer is option 2. Moving on to the next question, that is question number 179. So it is a match the following question. The first is Bt cotton. Bt here the Bt stands for what? Bacillus thuringiensis. Okay. So one goes A goes with four. Next is adenosine deaminase deficiency. Adenosine deaminase deficiency can be treated by gene therapy. So B goes with one. Next is RNAi technology. The RNAi technology is a method for cellular defense. Okay. So C goes with two, and D is PCR. So PCR is used for what? It is used for the detection of HIV infection. So D goes with 3. So here the answer is option 1. Moving on to the next question that is question number 180. It is asking that DNA is a dash. So see DNA as we know it is a hydrophilic molecule and it is also negatively charged. Why is it negatively charged? First of all it contains phosphate groups which are negatively charged and when we do the agarose gel electrophoresis okay when we do the agarose gel electrophoresis the dna moves from negative electrode to the positive electrode why because it is negatively charged and the negative charge attract uh, repels uh, the like charge and it will ad attract it towards the positive charge so it moves from negative to positive charge therefore the answer here is option four the next question is question 181 it is a match the following question and uh, okay, so first is glycosuria. Glycosuria is associated with what? So glycosuria is associated with presence of glucose in the urine. Okay, so whenever glucose is present present in urine, it is called as glycosuria. Next is gout. Okay, so what happens in gout? In gout, there is accumulation of uric acid in joints. Okay. Next is renal calculi. What are renal calculi? You might have heard about kidney stones. So these are also called as renal calculi. And renal calculi are the mass of crystallized salts within the kidney. D is glomerular, ne okay? glomerular nephritis. Now what is glomerular nephritis? It is inflammation in the glomeruli. See, whenever there is use of itis, okay? this is very important. Whenever uh, they use itis, I-T-I-S. So this itis as suffix is uh, it suggests of inflammation. Okay, it stands for inflammation. So remember this. So here the correct answer will be option four. Next is question number one eighty two. The antennal gland is used as excretory organ in which of the following organisms. So as we know, antennal gland is used as an excretory organ by prawns. Okay. So here the correct answer will be option two prawn. 
The next is question number 183. It states that the human hind brain comprises of three parts. One of which is, so see, as we know, the human brain is divided into fore brain, mid brain, and hind brain. And hind brain consists of three parts. Which are these three parts? It is the pons, the medulla oblongata, and the cerebellum. And what is cerebellum? Cerebellum is the tree-like structure which is found uh, at the hind brain, and it is its main function is body balance. Okay, balance of posture. So here the answer is uh, uh, option three. That is cerebellum. Next is question number one eighty four. The single step large mutation leading to speciation is called. Okay, so it is talking about a large mutation. Okay, the mutation here is large and it is occurring in single step. So this type of mutation is called as saltation. Okay, so this is a, a direct uh, fill in the blanks type question. That is, uh, saltation is the single large step uh, mutation which leads to speciation. So here the answer is option two. Moving on to the next question, that is question number one eighty five. It is a match the following question. The first is Darwin. Okay, so Darwin is associated with what? It's uh, he stated the evolution by natural selection. So A goes with four. Next is Oparin. So the Oparin theory was of abiogenesis, right? Next is Lamarck. Okay, so Lamarck gave the use and disuse of organs theory, and D is Wagner, and Wagner gave the con continental drift theory. So here the answer is option two. Moving on to the next question, that is question number one eighty six. In contrast to AOs, the mammals have what? Okay, so we have to identify the correct answer that mammals contain which of the following. So the first is. Corpus callosum. See, mammals contain corpus callosum. Okay, and next is the ear pinna. So, ear pinna also uh, also is found in mammals. Okay, and it is not found in AOs. So, here the correct answer will be option one, right? The next question is question number one eighty seven. What is the association of two or more organs interacting physically or chemically to perform a particular function called as? Okay, so it is talking about see when two organs are interacting and they perform a particular function, it forms what? It forms the organ system, right? So organ system consists of organs, organs consist of tissues, and tissues consist of cells. So in this way, the correct answer is option two, organ system. The next is question number one eighty eight. The following statement refer to the gas carriage by blood. We have to choose the correct statement among the following. Okay, the first statement is after leaving the lungs, each liter of blood contains about twenty mL of oxygen. So this is an incorrect statement. The second statement is hemoglobin is half saturated with oxygen. Okay, hemoglobin is half saturated with oxygen when the PO two is about thirty mm Hg. This is a correct statement. Why? Because fifty percent saturation of hemoglobin is achieved when the PO two is thirty mm of Hg. Okay, so this is a correct statement. So here the answer will be option two. The next question is question number one eighty nine. Person with blood group AB is considered as universal recipient because he has what? Now see. If a person has blood group AB, then his RBC will contain two antigens: the A antigen and the B antigen, right? And the plasma will contain no antibodies. Okay, so there will be no antibodies found in plasma. So therefore, uh, he is considered as universal recipient because we can transfuse any uh, blood group blood in the uh, person of AB blood group. And there will be no transfusion reaction. There are minimal chances of the transfusion reaction. Why? Because there are no antibodies which will, uh, which are against the transfused RBCs. So here the answer is option one, that he has both A and B antigen on the RBC, but there are no antibodies in the plasma. The next question is question one ninety. Which of the following is disease is associated with the symptoms given below? So there are symptoms given over here, and you have to identify which disease is it. Okay, so open your doctor brain and identify the disease. First is low plasma sodium concentration. 
then there is high plasma potassium concentration then hypoglycemia increased urinary sodium and fatigue so these all symptoms go with which disease yes you identified it correctly it is the addison's disease what happens in addison's disease so in addison's disease there is a decreased uh, decreased uh, release from of the uh, adrenal glands okay so uh, they do not produce enough cortisol and aldosterone and due to this there is loss of sodium uh, from the blood and there is low sodium uh, concentration in the plasma and uh, there is high plasma potassium concentration even there is fatigue so here the answer is option 3 the next question is question 191 it is an assertion reason question the assertion given here is the red fibers can also be called aerobic muscles this is correct the reason is they undergo an anaerobic process for energy production so the reason given over here is incorrect why because the red fibers they contain more mitochondria okay so they are responsible for aerobic respiration they do not perform anaerobic respiration anaerobic respiration is performed by the white muscle fibers okay so here the answer is option 3 the assertion is true but the reason is false moving on to the next question that is question 192 it states that which of the following is present between the adjacent bones of the vertebral column now see if you have seen there are two vertebrae in the vertebral column and there is presence of something in between the two vertebrae so what is that okay here so as you know there is the presence of cartilage okay so cartilage is present in between the two adjacent bones of the vertebral column so here the answer will be option 3 moving on to the next question that is question 193 it is also an assertion reason question the assertion is primary spermatocytes of testes are haploid in nature so here the assertion is incorrect why because see the spermatogonia which are the main cells which are responsible for sperm formation the spermatogonia are deployed in nature okay they contain 2n they are deployed and these spermatogonia themselves undergo mitosis and what happens in mitosis is there reduction in the uh, chromosomes no it is not a reductional division the mitosis produces similar cell that is also 2n and this uh, uh, after the spermatogonia undergo mitosis they form primary spermatocytes so primary spermatocytes are deployed in nature the reason given over here is primary spermatocytes are performed by meiosis 1 in the spermatogonia so as we saw here there is not meiosis 1 there is mitosis occurring okay so the reason is also incorrect so here the answer is option 4 both the assertion and reason are false next is question 194 aids infection is characterized by what so here are the options first option is depletion of the T uh, cytotoxic lymphocytes increase of T helper lymphocytes depletion of T helper lymphocytes and increase of T cytotoxic lymphocytes so as we know in AIDS there occurs what in AIDS the full form of AIDS is acquired immunodeficiency syndrome okay and why there is immunodeficiency in AIDS because there is reduction in the T helper cells okay the virus kills the T helper cells so here the T helper cells are decreased so the answer will be option 3 depletion of the T helper lymphocytes the next is question number 195 which one of the following is responsible for controlling of copy number of the linked DNA so the copy number is controlled by what it is controlled by the ORI site and what is ORI site it is the origin of replication now there are uh, how many origin of replication it is control it controls the copy number of the linked DNA okay so here the answer will be option 1 the next question is question 196 it is match the following first is DNA fingerprinting the DNA fingerprinting is associated with VNTR that is variable number of tandem repeats next is conventional method so the conventional method is urine analysis third is agrobacterium okay the agrobacterium tumefaciens produces a tumor next is alpha lactabu uh, alpha lactalbumin milk okay it uh, provides more balance for food for the babies so here the answer will be option 3 the next question is question 197 
the dialyzing unit or the artificial kidney contains a fluid which is almost same as the plasma except it has what so see uh, in the artificial kidney there is a fluid present okay the our blood flows from the tube like this and it is surrounded by a fluid and it is called as dialyzing fluid now this dialyzing fluid is almost same as plasma but it contains no urea so what will happen the nitrogenous waste concentration is high in the plasma so this uh, will move from its higher concentration to the lower concentration into the dialyzing fluid and what will happen from here the impure blood will enter and the pure blood will exit from here so it will lead to purification of blood so dialyzing fluid contains no urea the next question is question 198 that is choose the correct pair from the following we have to identify which of the pair is correct okay the first is dna ligases they join the two dna molecules so this is the correct one let us see the other options also second is polymerases polymerases uh, here it is given they break the dna into fragments so this is incorrect because polymerases are responsible for formation of dna they join the nucleotides right Next is nucleases, they separate the two strands of DNA. So that is also incorrect because the separation of the two strands of DNA is performed by DNA helicase. So this is incorrect. The fourth is exonuclease. Exonuclease makes cut at specific positions within the DNA. This is also incorrect because the exonuclease acts at the periphery. Okay, it cuts, it makes the cuts at the periphery of the DNA and it uh, removes the nucleotide from the ends of the DNA molecule. So here the correct answer is option 1. The next question is question 199. Use of an artificial kidney during hemodialysis may result in what? Okay. So here there are statements given over here and you have to identify which of them is correct. Okay. So the first statement is nitrogenous waste build up in the body. This statement is incorrect. Why? Because it is responsible for purification of blood. It is responsible for removal of nitrogenous waste from the body next statement is non-elimination of excess potassium from ions okay this is also incorrect the third statement is reduced absorption of calcium ions from the gastrointestinal tract this is a correct statement and reduced rbc production now see hemodialysis is used in persons who have kidney failure and when there is kidney failure there is what there is reduced erythropoietin okay kidney is responsible for production of erythropoietin and this erythropoietin is responsible for synthesis of rbcs now when there is kidney failure there will be decrease in erythropoietin therefore there will be re reduced rbc production so i hope you understood this statement and the answer over here will be option four moving on to the last question of our uh, zoology section it states that tendrils in plants are an example of what so <clears throat> if you know that tendrils are an example of divergent evolution okay tendrils represent homologous organs and they are an example of divergent evolution so here we have covered okay here we have covered all the questions of zoology section of full test 9 i hope you are clear with all of them and if you have any doubts please feel free to put them in the comment section all the best for the neat exam and keep hustling